Today we're talking about the Hill People Gear Chess Kit. Why I think this kit is an excellent standalone fishing survival kit, some of the best applications to use this kit in, and what I have in this in particular loadout. Okay, asterisk right out of the gate. This isn't a fishing kit for if you end up in a survival situation. This is if you go fishing and you end up getting lost and end up in some type of survival situation. So this is going to assume that you already have a rod and reel with you or a fly fishing setup or whatever type of fishing you like to do. Okay, so for those of you who might not know, the Hill People Gear Chest Kit is exactly that. It is a kit that sits on your chest using straps, kind of like a reverse backpack. However, it is independent of your backpack. Now, this gives you all the access you would want to the things that you need throughout the day. It gives you quick access so you can always have them right there. But asterisk number two, this actually isn't a review of the chest kit itself. I do have a video, a full review of that, and I'll leave a link down in the description box if you want to go check out a full review of this kit itself. With that being said, let's dive into what I think some of the best uses for this standalone fishing survival kit are. And there's three places where I really think that this stands out. The first place I think this really stands out as an excellent option for a standalone uh, fishing survival kit is just your day-to-day -day fishing. Say you live near a river, near a lake, and you often grab a small fishing kit and a fishing pole and just head down and fish for a few hours. This would make a really excellent option. You could grab it, throw it on your chest, uh, and it would give you basic um, access to everything you could need uh, for fishing for a few hours, a full day, or even longer if it came down to that. The second use I think this would really excel at is if you do a lot of salmon fishing or even trout fishing in creeks, but essentially if you wear uh, hip waders or fishing waders and you need access to your stuff. If you wear a lot of waders, you know it's really hard to get to your pockets. Some waders have one large chest pocket here, but it often doesn't hold enough stuff. Um, you can buy a like backpack vest or a fly fishing vest, you know, that holds some of your stuff. But if you have the Hill People Gear chest kit, essentially, this would give you access to everything you would need whilst wearing your hip waders and keeping it up out of the water. The third use is essentially as a day pack with survival capabilities. So say you intend to hike into a series of high mountain lakes, spend several days there, uh, set up a base camp and fish different lakes uh, at different times. You could take your Hill People Gear chest kit and instead of having to grab your whole big backpack, you could throw a couple snacks in the chest kit and you could venture off to a lake as the chest kit would hold everything you would need for a basic day's fishing and, uh, like I said, even more if you get into such a situation. All right, bonus use. So if you like to pack rafts into high mountain lakes but don't like to pack the life jacket, you could use the Hill People Gear chest kit to have access to all your stuff as a lot of those pack rafts don't have a lot of uh, storage options but keep in mind the chest kit is going to be like a reverse personal flotation device. Now we're going to dive into the current setup of this chest kit but before we do that I want to say thank you to everyone for watching. If you're new here welcome to the channel where we're all about the outdoors so if you're into fishing, foraging, hunting, and hiking Go check out the description box. I put links to gear, other cool videos, and information. And of course, hit that thumbs up button. And with all that being said, let's get back to the video. Now that we know some of the times we're going to use this kit, let's go ahead and dive in and see what we got in here. Let's start off with the knife, which happens to be the Mora knife. Uh, this knife is excellent. It's about $13. Stainless steel, so it's going to resist rusting and the ergonomic handle is made of a grippy texture so when you're off fishing and your hands are cold and wet uh, this stays in your hands really really well. Next up is my current uh, fishing tool which is the Leatherman Squirt. 
Uh, this has obviously scissors, a knife, pliers, and then um, I keep it attached to a lanyard so that I don't lose it. And then on that is a emergency whistle that is just one piece made of brass. It won't rust. There's nothing to break. Next, I have the actual fishing kit in here. I've got all types of spoons and spinners and plastics and uh, pretty much every way conceivable to fish, uh, moving or still water. I am carrying one slip float, a fish stringer, because we're going to be catching fish, right? Uh, a variety of single point hooks, different sizes, 75 feet of four pound leader. I do have a tape measure in here to make sure <laughs> I'm keeping legal fish. Got a box of uh, dual lock snaps. I like these for hiking because they're super lightweight. Um, I should probably take them out of this container, but uh, these things are awesome. They're lightweight, they're strong. I like to use them. This little container here, which actually is an old makeup container, contains a bunch of small fishing pieces. So uh, barrel swivels, locking swivels. I got a small uh, bobber in there. From the trout magnet kit, there's beads, there's uh, um, key rings, so just a bunch of little pieces you need when you're out fishing to tie up different rigs. Uh, in here I have a bunch of triple hooks which I will take in and out depending on where I'm going. And that is pretty much it for the fishing setup. So this fishing setup obviously includes a survival kit, and this survival kit is intended to get you home. This isn't intended to last uh, for weeks or anything like that. This is intended to get you out of the situation that you are currently in. That is why I carry a signal whistle, a signal mirror, and then besides your cell phone in your pocket, I also carry a Garmin InReach Mini uh, which hopefully if I'm not in a deep canyon or uh, underwater somewhere, this will do the trick and get me uh, in touch with people who can help me if I'm in that bad of a situation. And if I can't get out with my electronic devices, I of course have a compass. I don't think you need a compass this fancy, just a compass with a, a base plate will do, but this is the one I have so I included it in there. So besides the signal mirror and the whistle and the GPS and the compass and all that, I carry one last piece that I think could be extremely helpful in getting me out of a stitchy, sticky situation, uh, especially if it is night, and that is the NU20 headlamp. I am in love with this thing. It weighs like an ounce, uh, two ounces maybe. Uh, it's rechargeable. It's pretty much, in my opinion, the perfect little headlamp. Uh, as well as having this feature here. And I'm going to aim it away from the camera, <laughs> otherwise it would blind the crap out of us. But this tiny headlamp has an SOS signal built right into it. It's fantastic. So if it were nighttime, um, you could still signal for help. So those are the ways that I have to try and self-rescue and get others to come help me out if I'm in need of that. But say you can't uh, get immediate help and you might be spending the night out there, I do carry um, you know, just a couple snack bars. These are kind bars, lots of calories because of the almonds and sugar. Um, and hopefully you'll be having a fish as well. And then obviously you need water. So a Sawyer water bag and filter. If you do end up having to spend the night out there, um, it would be nice to have a shelter. So I do carry one emergency shelter. It is bright orange, so I can use it as uh, lay it out somewhere open and signal with it and obviously use it as a shelter for myself as a tarp uh, or as an emergency blanket. And then last, but certainly not least, is this basically waterproof Kuyu bag, which is my Diddy kit. And in this kit, I carry a whole bunch of stuff. So, tinfoil for cooking, signaling, 
boil water in it. I probably think of 90 more uses for it. I do carry an ultra slim uh, small backup battery bank um, because you know cell phone, GPS, headlamp, etc. And then I do have two different cords, so USB-C and then the old school USB. If you're going to be spending the night, you do have your emergency blanket that you can use for a shelter, but also a uh, fire would be nice, so I carry an ExoTac. Uh, it is a ferro rod with the striker built in. Awesome quality right here. And then, of course, a super bright mini Bic because um, this is what's going to really get you a fire and warmth, and it's super bright, so hard to lose. If I were to lose my water filter or the bag got a hole in it or something, I have an extra uh, bag. These are the Whirl Pack bags. They're supposed to be stand-up bags and they are one liter. And with that, I carry water filtration tabs and these will purify uh, 0.75 liters. So fill this up um, three quarters of the way, drop one of these in there, half hour later, you got clean water. Or drinkable water still might be muddy or dirty or something I also carry kind of a small pharmacy bit in here so uh, if you're spending time out in the woods um, this might not even be an emergency well it's always an emergency if you have diarrhea but this might not be like a survival situation you just might be out fishing and get diarrhea so it's nice to have some anti diarrhea tabs and then with diarrhea uh, which you don't want if you are in an emergency situation. You're going to be losing uh, electrolytes, vitamins, and fluids. So I carry an emergency uh, to try and replace some of those electrolytes and vitamins. And then say I were to injure myself or somehow hurt myself, twist an ankle, I don't know, break a finger, something less than a broken leg where I could so still self-extricate myself out of the situation. I do have several packs of Advil as a minor pain reliever. And then you've seen this if you've watched any of my other uh, survival stuff before. I carry a couple caffeine pills. So along with the um, along with the Advil, hopefully this will give me the energy to haul my butt out of there. And then Forgot to mention this with the fire stuff, but I do carry several uh, pre-treated fire starters. And lastly, I carry a right in the rain pad with a right in the rain pen. Um, this could just help me keep track of coordinates or routes or even leave a note to people trying to find me or God forbid, leave a note to my loved ones um, in a really bad situation. So carry that. Another fantastic feature of the Hill People Gear chest bag is the ability to carry whilst you are fishing or hiking. Uh, specifically, conceal carry. Uh, in here I have the Walther CCP. You can see it is empty there and uh, nothing in the chamber. So that is what I choose to carry in this mostly because it's small and to fit all of the other items I have to carry a smaller sidearm but if you fish in a bear a bear if you fish in, in an area a barrier with high bear activity or mountain lion activity or you just want to conceal carry while fishing or hiking this is an excellent way to do it so that is my Hill People Gear standalone fishing survival kit. I had a lot of fun putting this kit together and I can't wait to get out and try it out. The fishing part, not the survival part. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it and we'll see you guys on the next one.